Containerization, which honestly doesn't even seem like a real word, is probably my favorite part of DevOps. And there's a couple tools that you can use for using containers. Docker is the one that I think is the most popular, but there's other tools like LXC and there are Windows containers, but Docker is the one that gets the most press and it's the most popular because it's awesome. Now, containerization, what is it? Why would we wanna use it? Well, let me explain a little bit what benefit you'll get out of Docker versus a traditional virtual machines. Now, we've already looked at some of this stuff in the past, but virtual machines, basically you have a large host machine and it chops up its resources and every virtual machine gets its own little chunk of RAM and storage and network. And then they install an operating system and you can install stuff on top of it. So it's like a bunch of computers, but with containers or Docker specifically, you end up with a host computer but instead of installing all of these various operating systems, all you do is install an app that runs on its own inside of its own little world, but it shares the host operating systems kernel and it makes it very, very efficient. Now there's more to it than just that though. There are some awesome features that you can get with Docker that you just don't have with virtual machines. So for example, networking inside of a Docker container, you can either share it with the host. So you, it's like you're running right alongside the operating system and your applications have the same network resources, same IP address, same everything as the host, or you can do port forwarding so that your app actually gets a port forwarded into the operating system or the host operating system stack, meaning like you can forward a different port. So on the operating system itself, on the host, you might have like port 8888 and that could go into the application, but inside the application, it could be running on port 80. So you can run multiple applications using the same port and then port forward different ports from the host into it. There's other options too. You can have a bridge network. So every application is like its own IP address on the network. It's just like it's plugged into the same switch as the host computer, but it's completely separate. And you can also share with another container. So this application could not really have a network stack of its own. It could actually share with this. So let's say this is a bridged network application this app could be right connected to this app and they could be like on one platform all on their own. So it's very, very, very flexible. Uh, and that's just the networking part. There's also volumes. Every app has its own internal file system that's separate from the rest of the system, but you can map folders from the operating system or the host computer into each individual app. And that's really powerful because it allows you to separate your data from the application. Plus you can also do shared container volumes where rather than an application, you can have just data inside of a container that doesn't run an app. It's actually just for storing data and then share that amongst the different apps. But the cool part about having this mapped volumes is that you can keep your data separate from your application, which allows you to destroy containers without messing up your data. What that means is you have all of the data for a container stored somewhere on your server, and then you spin up various applications or Docker containers and access that data. Then if you erase it, so this app is no longer there, your data is still stored because it's on a mapped volume of your host. I gotta be honest, if it sounds complicated, it's just because there's so many awesome features. Containerization is by far my favorite aspect of DevOps. I use it all the time, and it's so much more powerful and more flexible than virtual machines. You're gonna love it. So to answer our questions, what is containerization? Well, it's basically taking apps and putting them inside of a host machine without all the overhead of a virtual machine. But why? Oh, the answer to that is such flexibility with the network stack and the data volumes. You're just gonna love it.